We're working with the Acme appraisal. We're going to be paying a bunch of people this month for the work they did over the past 30 days or the month period. If I hit the end and the down arrow key, it takes me down to row 403, which means we have 402 records. We also want to lock the top row at the top. Very simple. You click on the View tab. You click on Freeze Panes and just say Top Row. I want to see this better. You go into the lower right-hand corner. There's a little plus with a percent there. We just pull this up a little bit. What I want to do, this is an appraisal firm. We charge a fee or a gross here. I charge $225, and then this person here gets $100. To do this is pretty easy. You have to pay attention what you're doing. First thing you want to do, because you're going to do at every change in the appraiser, a subtotal. So to do that, we need to do first is a sort. I'm on the Home tab. I click in any of the first names, sort and filter A to Z. So it's going to show Bob, Chiku, etc. Next thing we want to do, we want to figure out how much we're paying each person for each month. So to do that, we go on the Data tab. We click on Subtotal. This function is in all versions of Excel. So what I want to do, we have to look at what we're doing. First thing I'm going to do is in each change in appraiser, APP, I'm going to use a function called sum. You could do other things here like maximum count, etc. here. It depends on what you're doing. You can get some statistics. I'm going to click on sum. And then if you have boxes checked off for the subtotal, check it off. I don't need the PU. And I have the fee here. Now, if I'm going to print this out, I may want everything on a separate page here. And if I say OK, I leave these things checked off. You want the summary below the date. You could have it in other places. If you mess up, click on Remove All. You could always start again. Say OK. Takes this moment. And we see that we have Bob is going to get a check for $2,095. We made $4,925. If I want to make everything look like commas, I could just highlight those two columns, Home tab, click on the comma. And you know what those railroad tracks mean. You just widen the column. Next thing here, go into the upper left-hand corner. You have the one, two, and three. If I click on the three, that is all the detail here. You click on the two. It's saying what I'm paying each person each month. Again, if I want to make that a comma, I can get rid of the decimal points. So you have that there. I could zoom it up more if I want to. Okay. If I click on one of these things here, like Mo or whoever, it gives me a detail of what he did. And that's on the two. The three shows everything. The one just shows the top line report. And what size? When I did the thing here, if I go into here and I go into the print preview, control P, everyone will be on a separate page. If it's going off the page, which you're going to see in a second here, see it's going up by a couple of columns here. All you have to do, let me show you this. You can narrow columns. Go to the ver vertical lines between the letters. Address. And let's say I really want this to fit. I go over in here. It's cutting things off. Highlight the column. And then I click on wrap text. It is wrapped now. And so it goes to a second line there. So instead of printing on 34 sheets, if I go to print preview, it's now 18. Some of them will go to a second page here, but we've got something for each appraiser here. Last thing, let's say you want that header row at the top, okay? Last thing here, we go into page layout, and then I could just go and say, I could just click on print titles, 
and then all I do is highlight row number one or I could just click in here and just type in A1 and then say print preview I'll go through a couple pages here see how it's going through there through all of them now for some reason it added excess pages when I did that no idea why that happened and if I just go over here do 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 and it's showing like a little bit of a blank thing here I could just narrow the column a little bit more go into the print preview again I've shortened it down use a print preview especially if you are a self-employed individual will save you a fortune in ink toner paper and aggravation